Hey, what's up guys, Rev here. So today we're gonna be talking about Genshin Impact because there is some true insanity taking place among a portion of their fan base. So what's going on? Well, recently MiHoYo revealed a new region coming to Genshin Impact called Natlin, and this reveal was immediately met with people on Twitter claiming all sorts of things like cultural appropriation and racism. Now it's funny because these same people on Twitter often justify the race swapping of existing characters, but they're now crying about the melanin of characters representing a fictional region in a video game. And we've covered some of the initial responses to this reveal. A lot of people on Twitter are encouraging people to falsely report official Genshin Impact accounts for hate speech. We've seen a full-on boycott started where they're even instructing you to contact your local politicians about the situation. And you'll notice with these boycotts, they'll say all these things, but one thing they won't tell you is to stop playing Genshin Impact. In fact, a lot of people joining in on this supposed boycott are still playing the game. And on top of that, those people might not have the opportunity to keep playing Genshin Impact if this boycott is successful because one of their goals is to falsely report Genshin to the Apple Store and Google Play for offensive content. They want to remove this game for everyone because they're upset about the characters from this Natlin region. And to make things even worse, to stoke the flames, the English voice actors for Genshin Impact have come forward and encouraged these protests and encouraged players to email and contact Genshin Impact and MiHoYo over this situation, including voice actors like this saying, email them with a template here talking about cultural appropriation among other things. And this couldn't happen in a worse time because right now, English voice actors for video games are on a protest. They are on strike right now because they're worried about getting replaced by AI. And just like with anime and manga localizers getting replaced by AI, Everyone knows that AI is not the ideal position to be and not the ideal solution, but nobody's going to feel sorry for you when you're replaced by AI because you're annoying. But on top of that, this is the latest update here. So a few days ago, the official boycott and petition here has now reached 100,000 signatures. Here's the uh, post saying, 100,000 signatures strong. This amazing milestone shows just how many of us care. Your support can now make a real impact. A Genshin impact. Let's keep pushing for action and keep signing. And you can see right here their message. They're kind of uh, their, their war cry here. United for authentic representation. Which sounds a lot like authentic casting that we talked about previously with ProZD. Who for many years preached about authentic casting, meaning he wanted voice actors to be hired for characters that match their own real-life ethnicity. Of course, this would backfire horribly when years later, ProZD would lose roles because he couldn't voice white characters under this same theory of authentic casting that he had been promoting for years. You reap what you sow. But this is similar, and honestly, the, the situation with Genshin Impact is even more ridiculous because we're talking about representation of a group of people that don't exist. But anyways, uh, as we look at the 100,000 signatures on this petition and boycott, what does it really mean? Well, it doesn't mean a whole lot. So if you look at some of the results and posts like this, that 100,000 totals to about 0.1% of the total downloads on Android devices. That's a very, very small number of players, and that's assuming all of the people signing these petitions are actually playing Genshin Impact or were at some point. I would largely guess, pretty confidently guess, that a lot of people signing that petition don't actually play Genshin Impact and they're just kind of going with this LARP because it's fun to complain and protest things for these people. But on top of that, if you look at the regions of this game that are most relevant to Genshin's success, you'll see a lot of countries, but one country you won't see is the United States. It's not even in this list of regions. It's that small in terms of representation. And a lot of the people signing that petition and actively talking about the situation are Americans. So you can see the impact of that petition isn't that strong based on the regions that are supporting it. 
And this is kind of the opposite of what's going on with the Assassin's Creed Shadow situation, where there is a petition with a very similar number of signatures. But the difference is the outrage stemming from that game comes from regions they're trying to market to and that are very important to the success of that game. The United States, many Western countries, but also Japan. A lot of the outrage is coming from Japan. And with this Genshin Impact drama, Japan is the most represented region in terms of players and they don't care. They're not joining in on this at any sort of a significant level. And on top of that, the official responses, I guess you can call official responses from MiHoYo have been bot responses reminding players that Genshin is not real life. And that is a very important point that pretty much shuts down this whole thing. It is not a real place. The game is not real. They can do whatever they want. It, in terms of skin color, the, the, the people from the Natlin region could be purple. What, what is preventing them from doing that? But on top of that, we have seen so much hyper-focus on race and skin color and things like that, that we're seeing very bizarre posts like this. This person saying, retweet to scare Hoyoverse. And they have a chart tracking different skin tones. This is the kind of stuff you would see in the slave trade, okay? This is very odd to see. And now people in the name of fighting racism are making po posts like this. It's very bizarre. And on top of that, I have to censor here because this is technically a leak, but people are freaking out over some of the previews of the game that are being leaked, including one of the characters doing a dance, where this individual says, please tell me why Kachina, a character inspired by Native Americans, is doing the capoeira, a Afro-Brazilian martial art made by enslaved West Africans, and her skin tone doesn't even represent such? Genshin, what are you doing? 20,000 likes, by the way. Here is the note, though. It has a community note that is adding some context and dispelling these weird claims, saying beyond the original poster's inability to differentiate between capoeira and breakdancing, their premise is still wrong for one reason. Brazilian culture is not racially segregated. Imagine someone having to tell you this on Twitter because you're having a spurg out over a character breakdancing in Genshin Impact. But anyways, a lot of people are claiming the reason this boycott is so important because they don't want history in, in these regions to have their, their, their narrative rewritten or somehow misrepresented, which again, it involves a fictional region. None of the citizens of Natlin are gonna come forward and be upset about this, but people are comparing this to fake Grand Order because they have a lot of historical characters that they, of course, turn into cute anime girls. And if you search certain names, you'll get characters from Fate Grand Order. And this is just made as a joke because everyone knows this is not trying to rewrite history. It's just the result of this game being popular. And the same thing goes back to Genshin Impact. But a lot of people joining in on this boycott are now targeting Fate Grand Order, which is very funny. You can see this post sharing a character from Fake Grand Order saying, without exaggeration, this is the worst design ever created by man, which is a bit of an exaggeration. See, you're mad over the design of this character. I'm mad because that was a very useless servant when I was playing uh, Fake Grand Order a few years ago. She was completely useless. That's why I don't like that character. But anyways, people will make some more comparisons here. This person saying, Raiden occupying the highest position in Inazuma, which represents Japan, with an extremely sexualized and short kimono, not even prostitutes in Japan wear clothes like this. So this is what they're calling hyper-sexualized, extremely sexualized. It is literally showing a few inches of her legs. Like, don't let people like this go to a public beach or a public pool because they might lose their minds. But someone would quote them saying this, seeing Hoyoverse fans complaining over this design makes me think of how much they lose their minds if she looks like Raiko from Fake Grand Order. And yes, people would get very upset about this particular design from Fake Grand Order where you can see this comparison of Hoyo fans versus Fate fans where this person says, also Fate designs are genuinely so effing ugly and then this response really just captures the difference between those fan bases. This person says, nah, it's great. And then the original poster responds saying, Gooners will see Big Booba and immediately start applauding without considering anything else. 
where the other user replies, it's great, co-parter. Then the original poster replies, give me a reason, it's great. And then the, uh, the person responds saying, because I like it and my tastes are superior to yours. And that's really all you have to say when you're explaining why you like a certain character design. If you like it, that's good enough. You don't need to bend over backwards to people on Twitter to explain the intricacies of why you like the design of a certain anime girl. It's ridiculous. But overall, this whole boycott has shown really the way people on Twitter like to LARP for attention and to join in on some sort of a movement just because it is the trendy and popular thing to do. These people are trying to boycott something while actively still playing and supporting it. It just goes to show that all this noise is completely useless and MiHoYo doesn't care. They're going to continue and that's really all there is to it. But for now, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, feel free to share your thoughts about today's topics in the comment section down below and I'll see you guys next time.